question for you. Are you ready? When WWE Champion John Cena defends his title at the WWE Super Slam. Today we are going to do the Ask Diane Q&A on Snapchat. Um, if you don't have me on Snapchat already, it's just at that linguistic. And let's let's do the thing. Hi Diane, uh, we're a big fan, and I wanted to ask you what your aspiration in life was, what you want to do with your degree, what you want to do for yourself. I guess. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Wow, this is gonna sound like really cheesy, but to make myself proud is something that I really want to accomplish in life. And, um, well, with my degree, I'm studying medical laboratory science, so as soon as I finish my degree, I can start working right away after I finish getting, like after I write my board exam and I pass the exam, then I can start working right after graduation. Um, so, I mean, in terms of what do I want to do with my degree, I just want to go straight into work. Did you find it difficult to transfer from high school into university? Um, you know what? Actually, I feel like my, my answer to that would be no. It was only because I took another year of high school. So, I graduated in 2013, and at that time I already applied to a bunch of schools and I got accepted to all of the programs that I applied for. So I applied to University of Western for kinesiology and health science. I applied to University of Toronto for life science and for health science. Like, I got accepted to all of the applications that I applied for, however, the only reason that I really applied for those programs is because that's what my parents wanted me to do and not what I actually wanted to do. So I decided to take a year off and it was really hard because my dad my dad took that as a sign of failure. He didn't really say it like that but I know that that's what he felt in his heart. <laughs> so you know it was hard for me to make that decision but at the end of the day it really was what I needed because I took another year of high school so I took the classes that I needed to take in order to get into the program that I'm in now. I am actually very happy I took another year off. I feel like it really prepared me more for university. So in terms of getting from high school to university, because I took that extra year, I was more prepared for university than if I had gone straight out of graduation. Because I know that when I graduated high school, I had shit, like, I had no idea what I was doing. So if I went right after I graduated, there's no way in hell I would have ever been ready. Hi Diane. So first of all, I wanted to say that I love watching your videos and I absolutely love you. I love you, oh my um, god. my question to you is that what has been your most awkwardest moment? Oh my god. You know, I don't actually have that many awkward moments that I can remember, but sometimes I do things where it's weird because someone will give me something that I'm supposed to say thank you for, but then instead of saying thank you, I say you're welcome or no problem. And it's like, what? That doesn't even make sense, Diane. Okay. And my answer to that is, yeah, why not? I've never been to London, but I want to go so bad. It's so beautiful there, and I would love to go there. So, yeah, I'll hit you up. Hey, what is your favorite purchase from this year? What is my favorite purchase from this year? Girl! That is such a good question. Man, I have no idea. I can't really think of anything except for makeup. Like, I have a lot of makeup favorites. I think my favorite thing would be... Uh, my Longchamp bag, this one is in beige, I think, and it's the large one. It's my baby. My question is, are you happy? Yeah! Shit, I'm happy! <laughs> there are some days though that are really just so hard, and I know we all go through that, but I mean overall I'm, I'm very happy. Next question. Hey Diana, it's Albert. I uh, just want to ask you, um... My, well, my question is, uh, what movies do you have planned on your summer bucket list? Ooh, movies. You know what, I'm not actually a big movie fanatic and I have zero idea what is even playing at all because I don't watch TV, so I don't see commercials. Only way that I even know about movies is if it's on Facebook or Instagram. And even then, I don't really follow any people that are also movie hypes, but 
The only thing that I can say that I was excited to watch was Civil War. Everybody that I went with said that they didn't like it, but whatever. I was enjoying it, and let me say, my favorite part of that movie... <laughs> I say this to my guy friends all the time. My favorite part of that movie was when Captain America was holding on to... Oh, spoiler alert, by the way. I'm not really spoiling anything, but like, listen to me. Captain America was holding on to like the, the helicopter with this arm or hand, and then and then he was holding on to like the, the building with this arm. The helicopter was pulling him apart, and he was flexing his muscles, and holy, your girl was mm, like... Mm. I like muscles. Okay. Next question. Is it true that most Filipino girls don't like other Filipino guys because they think we all look related to them? Or is that like not true? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, personally, uh, please don't hate me, but personally, I kind of feel that way um, and it's not like I don't know I mean it's not like I've never given it a chance but like you know I'm not talking about boyfriends or anything like there are points in time where I have found myself curious about a Filipino guy right so like I'm interested kind of I'm interested and I get to know them more and more and as I get to know them I see my family members in them and I just can't for the life of me I've never met a Filipino guy that I saw and I didn't eventually see a family member I don't know why I don't know why but I your statement I mean that is like I'm so sorry to say but that's that's me and I can't say that like all Filipino guys but I mean for the most part every Filipino guy that I've really known um, I can see or it's not even that I can it's I just do I just do see my family members in them no matter what kind of way I think about them so I'm so sorry <laughs> so I guess you're from Canada uh -huh. which is cool but would you ever consider moving to the United States I told myself that if I ever became successful enough, I would want to get maybe a summer home somewhere nice, maybe in LA, maybe in Florida. I don't know. I don't know how life is going to work, but you know what? I just really, I love Canada. I love here. I love home. I'm such a homebody. I really just, I love to travel, but if I'm away from home for too long, my heart hurts. Okay, question. What was your favorite cartoon in the 90s? I was partial to Animaniacs, but what about you? Oh my god, my favorite... Okay, I want to say Pokemon for sure. Sailor Moon for sure. Those are kind of like animes. Well, Sailor Moon is an anime. Pokemon not so much, but I was living for Pokemon. You have no idea. This is the fourth time my battery has died and I'm losing my patience, but you know, it's my fault for not charging it earlier, so let's keep going. Hi, I've actually got two questions. The first one is, what is your biggest fear and why? And the second one is, would you ever come to England? Oh my god, yes. I could just answer that right away. My answer is yes. That's definitely on the bucket list to visit. Um, for your first question though, my biggest fear? Well, I can't tell you that. Otherwise, you guys are gonna come for me. The biggest fear is to be a failure. And as superficial as that might sound, it's not like I'm afraid of failing a test or failing, you know, this and this. It, I'm afraid of things like failing out of my program or failing an entire semester or failing... I'm afraid of failing school because I know in myself that I have so much potential to be better so to fail school for me would feel like a failure not because I failed school but because I know in myself I have the potential to pass so if I fail that's on me because I feel like I would feel like I didn't put enough into it when I know I could have What's up Diane? When are you ever gonna make a meet and greet here in California? I really wanna meet you Please, oh my god! California. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I definitely want to do a meet and greet there. Honestly, I just feel like I'm not 
I don't want to say I was I was about to say I feel like I'm not good enough but that is not the attitude we are looking for girl I just feel like I am not big enough in the YouTube community to kind of have that opportunity yet because I'm just so small I'm so little I'm only a hundred and thirteen thousand subscribers into the YouTube community and although to me that is so substantial and that is such a big accomplishment my only <laughs> my only concern is that I'll I'll make all the arrangements to go everywhere like to go to London or to go to California or to go to different parts of the world to do a meetup and only one person comes like that would be so sad but I mean I really hope in the near future I can make that happen because that would definitely be something that I would love to do I'm gonna be finished school in two years so I mean at that point, I'd just really love to travel for the hell of it. Uh, we'll see where YouTube goes. Hi, Diane. So, my Hi. midterm exam is coming up, and I'm dying. If you have any study tips, that would be great. Thank you. Love you. Oh, I love you too. Okay, so your midterms, girl, let's talk about midterms. I think my biggest tip for midterms is to just breathe, girl. Like, for me, I would get way too stressed out because... I just got really sentimental in like my last question you already know I'm very afraid of failure that fear really does drive me to study a lot but I mean fear can also be very crippling so the biggest thing that I have to remember in myself is to just breathe to give myself the time that I need to kind of you know take care of myself my mental health as well after every hour of studying give yourself a 10 minute break I actually just can't study at home like no matter what you do you can't get me to study at home I can't really study with other people either so I need to sit my ass down in a library so if you are like me and you can't study at home I can't study on the bed I'm a fall asleep can't study at my table I'm gonna go on Facebook I can't study on my table I'm gonna go on YouTube can't study downstairs someone's gonna talk to me I'm gonna want food like I just can't study where I'm super comfortable I gotta walk my ass to the school library stay there for 12 hours a day and study because if you had a million subscribers would you keep going with school or would you actually drop out and pursue YouTube that's a good question if I were to have a million baby alpacas that would be the mother effin dream I feel like I would still work and do YouTube on the side or like do both of them together I like the work that I do and it makes me happy just like doing YouTube makes me happy so if I dedicate all my time to YouTube and I quit this career choice because I have a million subscribers I'm gonna be happy with it but I'm not gonna be as happy as I could be you know I'm happy now doing this work and doing YouTube too it makes me so happy so why can't I do both you know I feel like I feel like I would try my hardest to make both work. Ooh, this guy's got a little drumstick. Okay, anyways. So. Oh my God, what girl. What kind of cheeses do you like? <laughs> what, kind, what, what kind of cheeses do I like? Well, I can't say that I've ever heard that before, but my favorite cheese I would have to say is marble. Parmesan, I like Parmesan too. But I like marble better. I like marble cheese. And I just wanted to ask what your favorite food was because I like food too. Oh my god, girl. Oh my god, look at that selfie, Slay. Okay, favorite food. Oh no, don't do this to me. If we're talking about fruit, girl, this is life. If you've ever had one of these and you don't like these, we can't be friends. I mean, I still love you and stuff, but it's just, how do you not like this? And people, I know I'm friends with a lot of people that have never had this kind of mango before. They've had the red one, um, or the red mango, whatever that they sell at the grocery stores. You are missing out if you've never had this kind of mango. How can I be friends with you if you don't like mango like this, huh? It's very good from the Philippines. Favorite food though, girl, I love all kind of food. I like pasta, girl, I like steak, girl, sushi, the bomb, pizza, even better, Subway. Oh my God, food. I like rice, rice is always good. I don't have a favorite. If I have a favorite, I'll feel like I'm cheating on all the other foods I love. You know what, I even like salad. <sighs> okay, so this is the sixth time my camera has died, but it is the end of the video. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. Thank you for sending me in your questions, and I will see you guys the next time I put up a video, which is 
So make sure you subscribe and click like if you like the videos. It would really, really make me very happy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!